Hey guys, Crazy Chef here. This is going to be a video about a green tea. You remember on the last video I was saying the green zones. People living in Okinawa, Japan live well into their hundreds. It's not just one or two, it's the majority of the population of the little green zone, the little blue zone, actually live into their way past their hundreds. They have different lifestyle, and one thing they do is drink a lot of green tea. Now, there's a lot of health benefits to green tea, including, as this is a cancer channel, including helping to prevent, for example, colorectal cancer. Now, I'll show you at the end, but there's a number of peer-to-peer -peer articles that actually demonstrate how it does it. May not do it for you, may not do it for everyone, but there are serious medical papers that suggest it possibly does. So, many health nutrients, flavonoids, catechins, they are basically antioxidants. It's full of antioxidants that mop up all the free radicals that cause damage to your cells. And as I said, it may well help with cancer prevention. One of a part of a number of things. It helps fresh breath by killing harmful bacteria in the mouth. It gives you a stable energy, helps you with energy. Being alert, it does contain a certain amount of caffeine. It's not quite the same amount of caffeine as in coffee, but it does contain caffeine. Now, as I'll tell you later, when you select your tea, multiple types of tea, whether it be tea leaves, whether it be tea bags, take a premium bag, buy a premium bag, but do not go for caffeinated, do not go for decaffeinated, because that destroys a lot of the nutrients. Green tea also helps with weight management, or it may help with weight management. It increases your metabolism, it burns fat, which can help with weight loss. Heart health lowers cholesterol, lowers high blood pressure, and therefore arterial sclerosis. May help with skin health, it may improve your skin. It certainly, if you go by the green, the blue zones, it certainly could possibly increase your lifespan. Don't know how you prove it, but it's certain other papers say it perhaps it does. Anyway, so green tea have three to five cups a day and do not put it in boiling water you should use something like a 90 degree Fahrenheit, sorry, 90 degree centigrade, just below boiling, so off the boil. Not caffeine free, because it destroys the nutrients, and to help it assimilate into your system, it is very, very ideal to give it with a slice of lemon, say you want green tea, whatever version you want, you can get green tea with other flavours mixed and get some lemons in. So that's the green tea. Now, I did say something about the cancer. Right, there's a paper here, I've got to read it. Green tea cashews for the prevention of colorectal tumour growth. Green tea inhibits cell proliferation, it induces apoptosis, upper, upper that means it, it encourages the cancer cell to die. It prevents inflammation. There have been animal studies and also human, preliminary human trials, and I will, I will um, give you the reference, but it's basically CAB International 2017 Health Benefits of Green Tea and Evidence-Based Approach. Editors, what, why, how, et al. So it's an evidence-based approach. It's not just willy-nilly. It's a medical, it's actually done by Gifu University Graduate School of Medicine, Gifu, Japan. So they know what they're all about. 
And as I say, the blue zones live a lot longer. They have a lot more exercise as well, but they live a lot longer and they greet a lot, drink a lot of green tea. So, first thing after my introduction video, let's look at green tea. Introduce green tea into your new cancer supportive diet. I would suggest, I would certainly recommend it, it's what I've done. I always used to drink green tea, but I drink a lot more of it now. So there we are.